Ladies and gentlemen, this is round two of the lower bracket of the Full Speed League Glitch Edition. The first map for today uh, on this match opposing Mufeo, Kaku, Paragraph, and Zeroja is going to be Shadow of Myself by Mufeo. The Deadly Minion is held by Kid with a 50.988. As far as other players go, we're seeing that Zeroja has a sixth place time here with a 51.371. We also see that, uh, let's see if we got a time for Mufeo. Mufeo is in 22nd place with a 51.804, Kaku 26 with a 51.876, and as far as Paragraph goes, he's on the uh, top page, yeah, he's in 11th place in the Diddy Mania rounds with a 51.567. Some people have been saying that uh, I, I you don't understand shit when I speak too fast, well, sometimes it's just be like that, man. Rap got casting and uh, it does have a, have a few drawbacks, but live with it, you know. De freaking deal with it. We see the paragraph full stop picks, but he will be able to finish the round regardless, despite that full stop pick. But yeah, that's uh, that's just the warm up. Here we go. GLHF, everyone. Round two match about to get underway. Mafeo, Kaku, paragraph, and Zeroja. Good luck, have fun. You guys can actually spam that in the chat. There we go. We're going to be spectating one of the 2018 world uh, members of the 2018 world champion squad, Zeroja. A little bit of a wiggle from Zeroja, which already penalizes him after before they even the first turnover right now. We see the Paragraph and Kaku in, uh, are in first and second. Actually, Mofeo sniping Kaku for three thousandths of a second. And Zeroja already going really far back. Although Kaku had a bit of a weird line through there, going too much inside. And thus, he will be dropped down to P4 immediately. I'm wondering if he actually cleared the speed check this time around. Paragraph and Mofeo in first and second. Then Zeroja in third. Kaku third still managed to clear the speed check, but he's already half a second down compared to the leader, which is currently Paragraph. Paragraph checking out compared to Mofeo. One and a half tenths up on the Australian driver from Team Numelov. Zeroja in third place, trying to make something happen, trying to reel Mufeo in, in the tube right now, into the final wall ride right here. Oh no, Zeroja will actually go too low for the wall ride. That will be game over for Zeroja here, and Paragraph will be handling steadfast in first place with the final speed check to come, and Paragraph will win the round with the 51.610. Mufeo second, Kaku in third place. That was unfortunate. He was actually looking good for uh, backing third position here and the four points that come with it. But unfortunately, it will be a no pointer that would actually be pretty uh, be um, hurting already if uh, if Zeroja is not able to actually come back from this. As I'm just gonna deactivate the notifications here. Sorry, Zeroja. Uh, no, Zeroja is in front, but Kaku was with the wiggle here that actually penalized him already. And it seems as though he had DNF. No, he's not DNF. It's just uh, I don't have the bounce. There we go. Kaku is in fourth place, but he's already two tenths down on the leading pack, currently led by Zeroja. Zeroja battling it off with Paragraph for first place. Mufeo in third place, uh, trying to keep tabs on the link battle right now. Zeroja in first place, but Paragraph with much more speed will reel him in and overtake him into the next wall ride, and Paragraph will get into the lead as of CP number five with around eight hundredths of a second of a gap between himself and the French player in second place. Mufeo also reeling in Zeroja and potentially uh, looking to take second position away from him. Here I go into the tube, a much smoother line compared to Mufeo, compared to Zeroja who had to make a few corrections right here, and unfortunately, oh, actually, Zeroja is able to actually re uh, resist and get back up to second place into the final part and into the speed check coming in, and Paragraph will win another run yet again with a 51.636. Zeroja will hold in the end in second place in front of Mafeo Kaku in fourth place after that early mistake. Paragraph will be in first place with 20 points, Mufeo second in 10 points, and 7 points for Kaku in third place, who's just one point in front of Zeroja in fourth place. Kaku, who had a decent start, I guess, on round one, was not feeling in on round two and got really, um, and got reeled in really quick uh, and uh, left behind really fast on the previous round. It seems as though it is the, in the case yet again for Kaku as Zeroja and Paragraph are battling it out again for the lead right now. Paragraph having the lead heading into the tube. Zeroja in second place around 600 down and Zeroja having less speed going into the wall right and so Mufei is able to catch back up to him and challenge him for second place. He will snipe him for 11 hundredths of a second, for 11 thousand sorry of a second and now we're seeing how everything goes for Zeroja who's able to stead holding steadfast in second place. Uh, Kaku having already DNF'd and now we're already seeing that uh, Paragraph is checking out into the final corner even though he touched he was actually really, uh, really watching bubbly here. So Zeroja Paragraph will actually turtle and will actually do a sous wheel. And then Mefoyo, Mefoyo, Mufoyo will cross the line in first place. Zeroja in second place. And uh, wow, that is absolutely terrifying what we saw from Paragraph here. That's an F right there. That is an absolute F.
And thus, Mafeo with that round win will go back to an equalizer with uh, in a shared lead situation with 20 points for Mafeo and Paragraph. 12 points for Zeroja means that he will be take 1st place from uh, Kaku, who is currently in 4th place in seventh, uh, in, uh, with 7 points, having not scored any points in the previous round. Zeroja going way too wide, having failed the reception at the first turnover, and thus it will be Paragraph and Kaku in 1st and 2nd. Mafeo battling it up with Kaku for 2nd place, and unfortunately for Zeroja, it seems as though it was a DNF. Yeah, it is a DNF for Zeroja, so that's an F already for Team Metal player right now as Paragraph uh, is checking out in front but Mafeo is battling it up pretty uh, pretty fiercely with Kaku to retain second place from the Frenchman from Team Rewalds. Meanwhile the Frenchman is trying to make something happen and actually catch back up for um, Mafeo right now and we're seeing that uh, it's becoming quite increasingly difficult for Kaku to make something about the lead from Mafeo. Meanwhile Paragraph is checking out around the 4 tenth gap between himself and Mafeo in second place, and Paragraph will win the third round of this uh, round right here. Three out of four from Paragraph, who takes the 10 points with a 51.814. Mafeo second, Kaku third, and as a result of that, Kaku will not be able to go past, uh, back past Zeroja for third place. He has 11 points, Zeroja still has 12, so yeah, not really what um, Kaku wanted. At the end of the vote, you guys are voting for Zeroja and Paragraph for your top two right here. We'll see how well you actually um, you actually get that one. Remember, we are taking that as an order for the finish. As we're heading into the second map right now, which is going to be Whiplash by Murfeo. Whiplash by Mafeo, Dediminia held by Kid with a 50.026. In terms of the other players, so Zeroja is in 11th place with a 50.344. Then we find um, Paragraph in 14th place with a 50.438. Then we've got, um, let's see if we find uh, Mafeo here. Yeah, Mafeo 22nd with a 50.655 and Kaku 29th with a 50.993. Quick score recap, after four rounds played, it is Paragraph who holds the lead with 30 points scored in total. Mafeo in 2nd place with 26, Zeroja 3rd with 12 points and Kaku 4th with 11. Hmm. FC Zeroja coming in. Hope you guys are having fun with the cast and are enjoying it as much as I am enjoying doing it. I hope I do not uh, uh, say uh, any kind of bullshit during the. I hope I do not say uh, too much bullshit during the cast because I'm not a full speed. I'm not a full speed expert, as you could probably guess. So yeah, there might be some times where I do get a few mistakes in. Anyways, GLHF round number five about to get underway on Whiplash round number one of this particular rotation of the map. We're going to be spectating the leader, who is currently Paragraph from Slovakia. Paragraph and Zeroja already battling out for the lead at the end of the first turnover, and it is going to be Paragraph who holds the lead. But uh, yeah, Zeroja with a really uh, aggressive inside line will get back past the Paragraph, but Mufeo has got much more speed than anyone else, and thus he will be able to retain the lead in front of Zeroja in second and third. And Kaku actually getting back into the fight as well. Let's actually see how everything goes. Zeroja gaining a little bit left behind, but still remaining with that right group. No big mistakes so far on behalf of all of the players. And meanwhile, it is currently Paragraph and Kaku in first and Mufeo in first and second. Kaku third, holding steady and keeping tabs on the battle for second place. Battling it out for the pressure, uh, but I'm gonna get out here with Mafeo for second place. And uh, yeah, it seems as though we got uh, Paragraph the lead really, um, really holding steady. And he will take the round win yet again with a 50.908. Mafeo second, Kaku third, and Zeroja in fourth and final position, taking three points. And thus, Kaku will be back to an equalizer with Zeroja for third place. Third shared with 15 points each, Paragraph in first place with 40 points, Mafeo second with 32. Oh, well, calm down, it chat for kick from FSL. Whoa, 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 I have nothing to do with this, okay? So, Zeroja in Paragraph in first and second. Zeroja having a really nice lead at the end of the first turn over eight hundredths of a second heading into the next CP. And it seems as though Paragraph is able to reel him back in after a really, really nice speed in the entry of the wall right in the tube. And thus, he's able to get back to six hundredths of a second compared to the French player in first place. Meanwhile, let's actually see the speed check. It will be go really well for all the players. Kaku with a really aggressive inside line will go back, slide past Paragraph for second place and potentially try to get back to... Try to get to back up to his compatriot um, Zeroja for first position right now and it seems as though Zeroja is holding steadfast in first place right now and it seems as though Kaku will not be able to do anything to actually reel him in unless a mistake from Zeroja happens he's got more speed in the wall right but it will not be enough Zeroja will take the round win with a 50.608 Kaku second Mufeo third and Paragraph in fourth So, Zeroja will continue to hold that third place. Kaku garbing some valuable points still. Paragraph is now uh, still in the lead, but his gap is now down to 7 points compared to Mafeo. 43 for Paragraph, 36 
36, sorry, for Mufeo. So it seems as though the uh, Australian driver could potentially mount a fight back compared to uh, um, against um, Paragraph for getting that lead place back. Meanwhile, Zeroja is looking to actually uh, salvage uh, what can be salvaged and actually repair the damage that was caused by the poor string of runs that he collected on map number one, but it seems as though it is Paragraph and Mufeo in first and second with Mufeo much, with much more speed going into the wall right now. The speed check, it will be Mufeo with an inside line as well who will get into the lead in front of Paragraph. Zeroja is in fourth place. Kaku is in third. Meanwhile, Zeroja is not really stepping up to the plate as much as we would have expected him to be. Paragraph is down to third place and even Paragraph has DNF, so yeah, that promotes automatically everyone up to up one place. Mufeo is in the lead in front of Kaku. Kaku will not be able to catch back up to Mufeo in the final world run unless a catastrophic failure. Mufeo will take the round win with a 50.633 cook. Kuku Kaku second, sorry, and Zeroja in third. And so we will get a lead change as a result of that since Paragraph has not scored any points. Mufeo will be up in the lead with 46 points. Paragraph with 43 is down to second. 29 points for Zeroja in third, 27 for Kaku in fourth place. As we're heading into round number eight. And the fourth and final round has come. Zeroja makes a mistake already. That's a DNF at the start. Not even past the first jump for Zeroja. What just happened? That is absolutely terrifying, absolutely devastating what just happened to Zeroja. And so it is Paragraph and Mufeo in first and second. Mufeo having a tenth and a half of a gap to Paragraph in first place. And then 400s further down, we find actually a tenth further down, we find Kaku in third position. Meanwhile, Paragraph and Mufeo as well as Kaku clear the speed check. Paragraph into the tube, it's really nicely negotiated. Going a little bit safe on the entry, on the entrance. Not really the perfect uh, tube transition, but whatever. It seems as though everybody's in safe mode right now to get all of those points. Paragraph is in first place with around four tenths of uh, a gap between himself and Mufeo in second place. And the speed check is clear by everyone, and Paragraph will get the round winner from Mufeo and Kaku. Paragraph going across the line with a 50.608. Mufeo second with six points, Kaku third with four points. So, two maps done. Three more to go on this first rotation, and Paragraph and Mufeo are already uh, pretty much half of the way there to the finalist status as we head into map number three for this round two of lower bracket match, which is going to be survived by Zeroja. Survive by Zeroja, home turf for the Team Metal League player currently playing right now. Moda is the Deadly Mania holder with a 51.698. In terms of the players for this match, Zeroja is holding 9th place in the Deadlies with a 52.027. Then we've got Paragraph in 13th place with a 52.064. Then we've got, uh, let's see if we uh, got anyone else. Now it seems as though the rest is behind. So yeah, we got Buffeo in 24th with 52.217. And Kaku with 30 in 31st with a 52.500. Quick score recap, after 8 rounds played, it is Paragraph in 1st place with 53 points, 2nd place for Mofeo so far with 52 points. These are the two players who have already passed the halfway point of getting to the finalist status. Kaku is in 3rd place with 31, Zeroja 4th with 29. Paragraph asking if uh, Zeroja uh, or, uh, even practiced, it seems as though that's a bit of a BM coming from a... Uh... A little bit of BMing coming on behalf of Paragraph here, that's a bit of a taunt right there if I've ever saw one. But apparently Zeroja seriously didn't train, so yeah. Flex tape can't fix this. Navi with the, the memes, that's a lot of damage indeed. Anyways, the warm-up is over for everyone. Good luck, have fun. And here we go with the third map. Round number nine on this one. Round on this match, round number one on this first rotation of Survive by Zeroja. And we're gonna be spectating Kaku this time around. We haven't really focused on him on an early round so far. Uh, Kaku, French player from Team uh, Rewall, Walls, who actually came uh, came the winner in the Full Speed Underdog League a little bit earlier in the year. Paragraph and Zeroja in first and second, Mofeo third, and Kaku in fourth. Those will be the order at the end of the first CP and getting the whole shot. Let's, uh, let's see the speed slide right now. Mofeo going with a really nice slide, but actually going a little bit wide, and thus that will actually promote Zeroja and Paragraph happy to lead battle. Mofeo third and Kaku getting left behind pretty early here, as of CP number four is already three tenths down on the lead pack. Zeroja leading the charge in front of Paragraph in second place. Let's check the, perspect the perspective from the Slovakian player from Team Aurora Racing, and now we're seeing that Zeroja is actually coming alive. Paragraph Touching the inside wall. That's a DNA. That's already game over for Paragraph for the big point scores. Zeroja in first place, Mafeo in second, and it will be Zeroja who will win the first round on his own map with a time of 52.090. Mafeo second, Kaku third, and Paragraph will cross the line in fourth and final position. Ah, Kaku uh, bl uh, blaming himself, uh, blaming uh, the f fact that he's actually. <laughs> A bit, uh, a bit of an full SD map, so he can't really do anything to catch those guys back up. And yeah, 
Feeling a little bit of a frustration on Kaku's side, but meanwhile, we're already on the round number 10 with the freaking baby cry horn. Can you just disable horns already? This is fucking... Ah, uh, sorry. Zero Jai Mufeo in first and second, Kaku third, and Paragraph in fourth position. Let's actually check in on the perspective from Paragraph, who overtook Kaku with a really aggressive line and a really much more speed compared to Mufeo. He will get back up to second place, and now he's going to try to reel Zero Jai in as quickly as possible. Although Mufeo is not having the last words yet, even though he went really wide on this entry to the wall right, and thus he will be down in third compared to Paragraph. Paragraph uh, actually in a pro locked in the battle between himself and Zero Jai for first position. Let's actually see at the exit of the turnover. Zero Jai going really tight, Paragraph going a little bit wider, trying to get much more speed than Zero Jai, but it will not pay off. So so far, ending into the final wall ride, Zelja will go for two for two right now. Despite that little click, it will be able to cross the line in first place. Palagraf will hold second place, Mafeo third, and Kako fourth. Zelja scoring a 52.338. And so we are back up to a shared lead between Paragraph and Mafeo, 62 points each. For the two drivers in first and second, and Zelja is almost halfway there for that final stage. This is 49. 49 points for uh, Zeroja in 3rd place and then 4th place for Kaku so far with 38. Kaku in a little bit of a uh, difficult spot right now, uh, a little bit of a pickle as he needs to be scoring some big points but he's not on the map that allows him to do so and so he's not able to actually shine through in uh, this particular instance. Mofeo going really wide again but Kaku is not able to reel uh, Mofeo back in and thus he's already down in 4th position around 3.5 tenths down compared to the rest of the pack. Paragraph has took the, taken the lead from Zeroja meanwhile, no Zeroja has actually managed to get the lead back into the wall ride and thus we get it to the final turnover right here and then the loop coming in watch out for Zeroja going too far inside too greedy and that's gonna be that wall hit it's game over for Zeroja Mufeo taking the lead with a much better speed inside the loop compared to Pangov Pangov much much more speed into the wall right will potentially snipe him at the finish line it's gonna be to, with the finish line to the side no Mufeo will continue to have the lead and thus with the final in the same thousandth of a second it is indeed Mufeo who will actually get the round win unfortunately for Paragraph and yeah, 6 points for Paragraph, 10 for Mafeo here. And Kaka will get the points for 4th place, but uh, yeah, Zeroja was not exactly... Um was not exactly lucky this time around. It was re looking really good, holding steadfast, but he was actually really early into the exit of the turnover, and thus it was actually game over as soon as he touched the wall on the inside. And uh, yeah, hence the DNF. At the start of round number... 12, we've got Zeroja and Paragraph locked in the proverbial battle yet again for first and second place. Kaku is back up to third now, battling it out with Mufeo. Mufeo is down in fourth position, and Paragraph almost touching the inside. You might have to split the SD here, might have to split the SD right here, and so that will allow Zeroja to have a little bit of breathing room and get back up into third place. Paragraph in second place, around a tenth down on Zeroja. Mufeo third, two tenths down even. Mufeo third, trying to reel Paragraph in into before the loop, and it seems that the Mufeo is able to do just that. Meanwhile, Zeroja is completely uncatchable right now, and he will be able to score another round win here and Mufeo second place, Kaga third and Kaku fourth, Zeroja scoring a 52.274 this round and getting 10 valuable points and putting his points tally to 59 as he is already halfway or more than halfway past the um, points finalist um, mark. So map three done, on to map number four which is going to be Conquerant by Brad Armpit. Conquerant by Brad Armpit. So, that he made a hell by Kid with a 53.196. In terms of the players that we're seeing so far in this match, Zeroja is in 12th position with a 53.527. Then we find Mafeo in 18th place with a 53.750. Then we're seeing that uh, Paragraph is not in the top page. He's actually a little bit further down. He does, he's actually in 30th place with a 54.131. And Kaku in, for, in 31st and last place with a 54.297. Those are Daddy Minute times, by the way. So, quick score recap. After 12 number round, after 12 rounds played, it is Mufeo who holds the lead with 78 points, with uh, Paragraph in second place with 72, Zeroja third with 59, and Kaku fourth with 45. Mufeo and Paragraph have the chance to close it out on this particular map, with four round wins being mandatory for each of these players to actually snap, uh, snatch and secure their positions in the lower bracket final. For Zeroja, it's gonna have to be a ton of denials coming in right now, for the Team Metal League player if he wants to get in with a fight, uh, get in with a chance of continuing his journey into the lower bracket. Good luck, have fun everyone. Map number 4, round number 1, about to get another win. Round number 13 of this match and we're going to be spectating our uh, one of our 2018 World Champion squad members, Zeroja from Team Metal League.
Full shot after first CP is going to be Zero Jazz. Then we're getting into this first SD right here, which can be tricky to get. Watch out. Do not go too far to the inside. Otherwise, you touch the wall. It's going to be game over. It is Zeroja who takes the lead in front of Mafeo, but actually Mafeo and Kaku are really holding really well here. Kaku with a really nice inside line into that turnover was really good and just took the lead from Zeroja and Mafeo. Mafeo back up to second place as we head into the second tube uh, the pre second tube SD. And it seems as though it's Mafeo who got the better of it as Kaku is back down to second. Zeroja third, but Zeroja with much more speed into the speed check will be able to get back past Mafeo, especially Kaku. Kaku here into second place as well. Let's actually see if Kaku is able to make something happen here. Mufeo in second place. Kaku third place. Is Mufeo able to make something happen compared to Zeroja here in second place? Ooh, that was really close for Kaku. He wouldn't have hit the wall. That would have been game over. Mufeo potentially reeling Kaku, uh, reeling uh, Zeroja in, but no. It will be the inside wall uh, right hit, and that will be game over. Zeroja will take the round win with a 53.857. Kaku second, and uh, yeah, unfortunately, pa okay, Paragraf will cross the line in third, but unfortunately for Mufeo, that will be a DNF, and that will allow Paragraf to go back into the lead position. No, actually not. He only scored four points. I completely forgot about that. So he will still be in uh, second place, but the gap is now just two points between Mafeo in first place and Paragraph in second. Third place for Zeroja with 69. Nice. As we're heading to round number 14 of this match, it is Zeroja who gets the, um, the advantage heading into the loop with Mufeo in close pursuit as well as Kaku. Kaku almost touching the inside. He was forced to actually back out of it, but that will demote him to fourth place instantly as the team rewall player will try to go for the inside line before the turnover, but it will not pay off as well. He's getting left behind really quickly here right now. Paragraph and Mufeo in first and second. Zeroja in third position. Let's actually check in on the team mentally player who's able to actually overtake Mufeo in the SD before the second team right now. Heading into the speed check right now. Over 700 kilometers an hour is needed to clear it perfectly. Paragraph in first place, Zeroja in second place, 10th and, uh, and tenth and eight hundredths down compared to Paragraph, Paragraph has dropped much more speed, uh, Meta X Zeroja is having much more speed compared to Paragraph here, and Paragraph is getting overtaken here by Zeroja, la fusée Zeroja qui passe à toute vitesse, Zeroja into the final world ride, it is going to be another round win unless a catastrophic failure a la moda is on to the finish, no, 53.830, the final round score for the um, 2018 world champion uh, member, Zeroja first, Paragraph second, Mofeo third, and Kaku in fourth. Coup dans la tête, bam bam! <laughs> Paragraph and Mufeo back up to a sheer lead position, but look at Zeroja in the scoreboard. He's now up to 79 points, only three points left between he uh, until he gets back up to a shared lead situation between Paragraph and Mufeo. Kaku is getting left behind further and further as the time passes, and it will be complicated for the team rewall driver to make anything about it. Mufeo going really close to the inside wall on that first SD, and it seems as though Kaku going really far to the inside will get the lead into the first turnover right now, and it seems as though he will be able to hold that lead against the Paragraph, although Paragraph is reeling him slowly but surely, and Paragraph will retake the lead from Kaku, and Kaku will be demoted down to second. Zeroja in third place, Mufeo in fourth position right now. Mufeo around two and a half tenths down compared to Paragraph in first place, even four tenths down before the speed check. Zeroja going too far left. That's game over for Zeroja and Paragraph and Kaku in first and second. Kaku trying to reel Paragraph in. Paragraph dropped down to speed compared to Zeroja in the previous round. So we could see potentially something happen if Kaku is able to hold it together. But Paragraph is holding steadfast, and Paragraph will be able to get the round win in the final world ride right at the final corner coming up. Paragraph will be your winner unless a catastrophic failure happens at the finish, but no, it will not be the case with a 53 point. 887 in first place, Kaku seventh, and Mufeo third. Unfortunately for Zeroja, it was a missed, a missed block right here for him as uh, uh, Navi cunningly warns him that uh, cuts are not allowed and that he would be banned next time. It will actually be pulled off, although that's we know that is not a cut. Round number 16 on this uh, lower bracket round two match, and round number four on the first rotation on Conquérant, and we're seeing that. Uh, yeah, Zeroja and Mufeo uh, in first and second, and Paragraph and Kaku in third and fourth. Kaku going really wide into the wall ride. Still in fourth place, but going for that inside line alongside Zeroja into the turnover, trying to reel in Paragraph. It's not really look, working out for both French players right now, as Paragraph hold, is holding steadfast in the lead, entering the first tube now onto the SD. Watch out for the hole on the inside. Paragraph nearly clipping it. He still manages to keep it together, though, and he is still in the lead, with Zeroja now up to second place. Paragraph having to lift a little bit here before the speed check, and thus Zeroja having much more speed than Paragraph. will be able to reel him in at the end of the second turnover right now, and now we're seeing the final roll rights coming up, the final sections here. Zeroja up in first place, Paragraph up in second, down to second place right now, and we're seeing that Zeroja is able to actually reel and overtake Paragraph and Mu Kaku be able to make the same at the finish line. Gonzaloja will take the round win and Kaku versus Paragraph. It's going to be over to the line to the side. It's going to be Kaku who will win the round. 50, uh, who will uh, take second place. 53.828 for Zeloja in first place. Kaku second. Paragraph third for 7 thousandths of a second. And Mufeo in fourth. Shared second place for Mufeo and Zeloja with 89 points both. As we're heading into the fifth and final map for the map pack, final uh, map for the first rotation, and now it is going to be Bikit by Cyrox. 
Bike hit by Cyrox. Quick situation, quick sit rep of the Deddy Mania. Murder dropping a 45.197 in the winner bracket final is the Deddy Mania record holder. Zeroja is currently sitting in ninth position in the top uh, Deddy Mania with a 45.584 to his credit. Paragraph is in 12th with a 45.621. Then we find, um, let's see, where's Mufeo in there? I think he might not have a time on there, unfortunately. Nope, he does not. Kaku, meanwhile, has a 30th and final place with a 45.963. Quick little recap, after 16 rounds played, Paragraph in the lead with 96 points, he is on the verge of continuing this journey into the tournament with a few round wins away. Mafeo and Zeroja in battle for second place with 89 points equal, and Kaku is down in fourth with 56. It seems as though the dream might be over for Kaku of continuing his journey into the tournament, and uh, yeah, it will be a tall ordeal of actually getting back into contention for the Team Rewall driver. Good luck, have fun everyone! Here we go with the um, round number 17, round 1 out of 4 on the map number 5, which is Bike Hit by Cyrox, and we're going to be spectating Paragraph. Well, no, actually, let's actually spectate Kaku right here. Kaku, the man with 66 points right now, is not really looking to... Uh, the chances of uh, him staying in the tournament are looking pretty grim at the moment. Meanwhile, Zeroja and Kaku during the pinball. It's game over already for Kaku. And meanwhile, it is Zeroja who gets the whole shot after the first CP with Paragraph in Hopper's in the second place. Much more speed for Paragraph here in uh, make, maintaining better contact with the road. And thus, he would overtake Zeroja for, uh, for third place. Zeroja also getting overtaken for second by Mufeo, who is able to get much more speed as a result of that. The snowball effect is really kicking in right now. Zeroja down to third place. Paragraph in first place, almost flipping the end. Three, hundred, uh, three tenths of a second down. Three tenths of a second up, sorry, on Mufeo in second place. Zeroja back up to second right now. Compared to Mufeo, uh, the advantage here is really important despite it being only for a second place. Paragraph, meanwhile, is going to go and win this round and get those 10 points and get back into finalist status right now with the 45.911. Zeroja second and Mufeo in third place. And so, good luck to Paragraph for the finalist status right now. He is one round win away from continuing his journey into the Full Speed League Glitched Edition. 95 for Zeroja in second place, 93 for Mofeo in third. Zeroja needs either, um... Zeroja needs either to deny Paragraph for a double finalist first place situation, or if Paragraph wins, he needs to be at least in second place to be at, uh, in finalist status as well. A third place will not make the cut for him. Meanwhile, it seems as though, yeah, Pukaku is not really feeling it right now. And uh, Paragraph in first place in front of Mafeo and Zeroja. Let's actually get back to the lead battle a little bit right here. Mafeo with much more speed than Paragraph and Zeroja tries to, tries to reel him in, but apparently it's Zeroja and Paragraph in first and second. Paragraph in first right now. And Mafeo with a really wide line will overtake Zeroja for th second position. Paragraph is still in the lead right now. It seems as though Paragraph has got this under control and is checking out already from Mafeo. And Mafeo will be able to actually get that second place from Zeroja. Let's actually see if Zeroja is able to reel him in. No, it seems as though they're going to be heading both on 90. Points in the next round. Meanwhile, Paragraph will win the round, and it's going to be the GG for Paragraph, who continues the uh, his journey into the tournament in the lower bracket with round three coming up next. And look, back to a shared uh, second place, but with 99 points. That's a double blue balls right there. If I've ever saw one, Zeroja and. Mufeo are going to have to finish the round regardless. That round is worth nothing. They're going to have to actually just. Across the finish line, Kaku making an early mistake. That's the end for the um, Team Rewall player already. And now we're seeing that Mufeo and Zeroja are going to be just playing it safe. Uh, safe, really, for getting into uh, the double finalist situation right now. They don't really need to push it uh, far. They only need to actually get to the finish line. And we saw that uh, some people might actually have had a few problems actually reaching that finish line. Maybe with a block skip or whatever. And uh, yeah, that could be a tall ordeal just saying that. So yeah, it will be interesting to see the end of that round anyway, even though it's not really going to be a close match for uh, that round particular. Zeroja will take the round win in front of Mufeo, as both players are going to be locked in the battle for second place. With potentially the final round of the match. Round number 19 on the lower bracket round 2 match. Mufeo Kaku, Paragraph and Zeroja. Paragraph has already won, but now there's only one place up for grabs, and at the end... There will be heartbreak for one of these two. Mufeo from the Milovs and Zeroja from Metalik. If you guys are uh, Zeroja or Mufeo supporters, be sure to make your, vo make your voice heard in chat because this is absolutely the round that is absolutely important for both of these players. Zeroja having the whole shot but not having as much speed as Mufeo heading into the tube right now. It seems that Mufeo will be able to reel him in into the f end of the tube right now. It seems that Mufeo will be able to take the lead. Not yet, but now into the wall. Right, it is actually done. Mufeo takes the lead, but Zeroja in second place potentially makes something happen here. Going really wide and before the wall right in. It seems that Mufeo has got a really bit of a dodging landing. Less speed in the wall right and Zeroja will be back up in first place. Heading into the turn final turn uh, second to final turn 
turnover. The final one and the final turnover coming up is Zeroja is checking out right now. And that's going to be it for Zeroja. Zeroja, unless a catastrophic failure to finish happens, he will be in the lower bracket. GG for Zeroja for continuing his journey in the tournament with a 45.990. For him, Mufeo in second place, and unfortunately for Mufeo and Kaku, the adventure of the Full Speed League Glitch Edition ends there. So, final score here for that lower bracket round 2 match. Paragraph is your winner here, first place for him, Zeroja, second place for him. Both of them are continuing into the lower bracket, whereas for Mufeo and Kaku, the adventure ends there.